Hello everyone, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very fun, bright tutorial for you guys. And it is a yellow cut crease. I did not know what to film for the longest freaking time. I was deciding for like an hour what to film. I swatched some blue, I swatched some green, I asked Facebook, I asked Twitter, I asked Periscope. I did not know what to film. So right now I am in Orlando, Florida and I had this yellow backdrop laying around with me and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do something fun, something with bottom lashes, something with top stack lashes, and a cut crease, and some color. It's one of my favorite looks that I've done. It's very wispy, it's very twiggy, it's very just bright and fun for summer. It's a fun party look, and I feel like it's wearable. It's wearable, it's great for an editorial shoot, it's just simply lots of fun, and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. This look features the Benefit Cosmetics Cheekathon Palette! love this palette. It is $58 and I'm going to explain to you that it comes with four blushes, one bronzer, five full-size products from Benefit, each of them retailing for $28 alone, like solely. If you buy these individually, they're $28 and this all would cost you $145. But all together in the palette at the same size, it is $58. This includes the colors Dandelion, Hula, Rakator, one of my favorites, Dallas and Coralista, and it comes with a little brush right here. I hope you guys check this out and some exciting news in regards to this palette. I am on display with the Cheek Bomb palette alongside Manny and Kathleen Lights in all Sephora. So be sure to check it out, grab a selfie with a display, tag us on social media, check out this palette online before it sells out because this is going to be gone. I swear to you, this is going to be gone. Check it out. I love you guys so much. Subscribe to my channel if you like this video and let's get right into the tutorial. Hey guys, so first things first, I am going to take my contacts by Desio Eyes and I'm going to pop this in my eyes. You guys are always intrigued to see how I pop in my contacts. These are my favorite. They're in the color light gray. I get questions on them literally every day. So that's part of my look and I just love them. Next, I'm going to take my Professional by Benefit. This is a lifesaver for me for pictures, for videos, and I love it because it makes my skin look super duper smooth and I'm applying that on my cheeks. Now for foundation, I'm gonna take my favorite foundation ever, the Dior Air Flash. This is super pricey. Yes, it is $62, but I'm just gonna spray this all over the face. Try it, um, try it on your skin. It's buildable, it looks like skin. And I'm gonna use this with my Morphe Duo Fiber Brush. And you guys can use the code PSTAR for some money off in all caps. Next, for my concealer, I'm going to take the Boing Concealer. This is also by Benefit. This is in the shade number two. Now, this concealer has a beautiful peach undertone. I love it. I use it in Hawaii. It's very, very strong. It covers very well, and it is a beautiful concealer. And on the back, it says industrial strength. And as you guys know, I am a man, and I have to conceal a lot of things on my face. But I'm just highlighting the high points, upper lip, nose, under the eyes, chin, you know the deal. And I'm just going to blend this with my G2 brush by Morphe, the Beauty Blender on a Stick, G2. And I'm just going to blend that and puff and set this with the Laura Mercier translucent powder under the eye. That is the more expensive powder. But for the face, mama, come the row powder. Come on, $5 powder, honey. You beat the face, honey, for so little money, honey. Honey, neck the beat a local palette, honey, so beautiful, so rainbow color. We're going to take the Vox shadow on a Sigma brush, on a flat shader brush, and I'm just going to sketch out the eye. This will allow me to gauge the shape without committing. You know, it's kind of like a one night stand, you know, you just got to go for it and just stick it in. So we're just going to stick this color onto the lid and we're just going to go in and we're just going to sketch it out and create a beautiful, dragalicious shape to the eye. This is like a fun 
universal shape for everyone. You guys can use this with any color, with any look. But next, I'm going to take Punch by ColourPop. And I'm going to take this with a flat shader brush. And this is a bright-ass yellow color cream-based gel liner um, type of medium. I'm just going to pat this on the lid. And I'm just going to go for it. And I'm not going to swipe. I'm not going to streak. I'm just going to pat just to get the color payoff that I want. And this is going to allow an even base. So if you guys want to play with color over the summer, whether it's blue, green, red, yellow, make sure you have a white base or something similar to match. That way your colors are truly vibrant. So that's just Patrick Star's tip from my home to yours. Next, I'm going to take this color called farm? No, Fran. I thought it said farm. It's Fran, like Francine. This is just an amazing palette for makeup artists, um, for anyone's kit, or if you want to have fun this summer, this is a beautiful yellow. It is super pigmented, but as you guys can see, I'm doing that. Next, I'm going to take Lyric, and I'm just going to set this under my eyebrow. Lyric is a beautiful white and yes, I'm just going to blend out this with the color Noble. And I'm just going to blend this out um, not too much because I don't want to lose the definition of the cut crease. But that's what I'm going to do. Oh, wait, this is the part. Now I'm going to take Noble and just buff this on my E20. 20. 20. Yes, Patrick, I do this to myself so I'll have an easier time editing. But yes, God, we're just going to take this and buff this out in the crease and just allow for a beautiful blend. And I think it's nice when you blend the crease. That way it's a little bit harmonious. You know, you have a bright color, you have a beautiful blended crease, nothing's too harsh, everything looks fun and smooth. And graphic, so speaking of graphic, we're gonna take the Inglot Gel Liner on an angle brush, and I'm gonna store this gel liner down. A lot of people store their gel liners right side up, exposed to the air, so then your gel liner and your product becomes dry, and then you end up buying too many, and then you spend money, and then you can't spend money on the dancers at the club, and you can't twerk with your drinks, and it's just a mess. So to prevent you being broke, you need to store your liner facing down. That way you are saving the product and you are not wasting money, okay? So as you guys can see, this is like a normal wing liner, just a little bit more drag than usual, taking my time, and I'm just going to bring the brush back and flick. You see, I'm just going really, really slow. Flick, yes. Say your prayer. Please, Jesus, give me the best fleek liner. Yes, yes, amen, amen. Now, we're going to go on to the inner corner, and I'm going to take this point and just create this inner point. And you guys can see with the whole liner situation, I am drawing like soft strokes. I'm dabbing a little bit. Just dab, dab, dab. And as you can see, that's what it should look like. And leave your eyes open so you can check the symmetry and balance. And you do this with your eyes open. But now, after I've checked it, I'm going to do more short strokes and I am going to sketch out the crease. This part is super scary because you know it's black and you don't want to mess up but as you guys can see I am stroking it super slow and to make my brush more fine and more precise I'm gonna take the brush and flatten it on the back of my hand do what you gotta do girl take your time hold your breath and say a prayer so this is how I do it as you can see see stroke 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 see you just gotta just go for it and just you know do it to how you would like it to be. It looked beautiful without the black. I just wanted to be extra graphic today. So I decided to do the black in my crease. As you guys can see, I was panicking a little bit because it went too high. And see, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just got to draw attention elsewhere. So I am drawing attention to my lashes. And this is the Shiseido Lash Curler. And I'm going to take my Benefit Roller Mascara and curl my lashes up to Jesus. Hey, Suze Cristo, yes. And we're just going to curl them up. And we're going to apply Lily Lashes in the style Doha. And we're just going to stack these and flip up the lash as close as you can to the eyebrow. 
and make sure you pinch your lashes because it's such a pet peeve of mine when I see lashes facing down on my pupils and it's not a cute look. So I double stacked a couple of individuals, made them super wispy because I didn't want my thick lashes to block the yellow. But this is my favorite mascara right now. This is the Clinique Bottom Mascara. You can see it's super tiny. They also have one in the brown color. This is the one in the black. But I'm just taking this and I am coating it's from the very root to the tip of my bottom lashes. Next, I'm going to take I Love Me, I Love Me Wispy Lashes in the style Taylor. This is beautiful. And I'm just going to stick this on the bottom. They're super wispy. They kind of remind me of Ardell's, but you can see it gives me that like flirty flare. And I'm just taking my time with bottom lashes. This, of course, girls, is optional. Girls and boys, it's optional. But if you want to look kind of fun and fierce, like why not? Why not? Um, next, I'm going to take the Brow Definer by Anastasia. And I'm going to sketch my orch. Just get that orch in the back of your brow. And for the face, the eyes are pretty much done. I'm just going to take this Mineralize Skin Finish by MAC. And just knock off the baked powder. And I'm just going to buff this in with my Marc Jacobs brush. This is my favorite powder by Charlotte Tilbury. It is the um, Flawless Finishing Powder. And I'm going to just put this under the eyes to give me that beautiful airbrushed effect. Check out her YouTube, guys. Her YouTube is pretty fierce. She does amazing, amazing looks. But now to the start of the show, I'm going to take my Cheekathon palette. And I'm going to take a little bit of Dandelion and Coralie star and I'm just gonna buff this on the cheeks and I'm just going to just smile and give it like a light flesh look now to contour I'm gonna take my hula bronza and I'm just gonna go in just just get that snooky jwow glow it is so pretty next I'm gonna take gold deposit and apply this on the tops of my cheeks for that glow and yes we're gonna snatch the nose using the hula bronzer in the palette if you guys are artists try this out and last but not least for the lips i'm going to take this liquid lipstick by manny and ofra cosmetics i believe this is in the color oh my god help me out help me out i believe it's hypno and aries yes yes and i combined them and added a little bit of clear gloss and that's the finished look all right you guys this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoy this fun yellow cut crease eye with top lashes bottom lashes featuring the benefit chicathon palette also featuring on the lips many muas collab with ofra cosmetics with his liquid lipsticks if you guys like these types of videos with fun colorful looks with the drama let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see something more natural also let me know in the comments below please subscribe to my channel i love you guys so so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>